Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to continue the series for the unit wise expected questions, which is for the UGC Net Environmental Science exam. And we are now in the unit nine, that is statistics part and part forty five. So if you haven't checked the previous forty four lessons from the unit one to unit nine, you can check the link given in the description as well as in the i button. So without much delay, let's get started. So today we are going to discuss some of the important and expected questions from the biostatistics and now we will deal with the numericals. So the first question you should be ready with the pen and paper so that you will also write down all the concept and you should be clear about this. Question is if out of 50 fish of a pond 12 had no parasite and remaining had varied numbers of parasite on them then how many fish had at least one parasite. So these questions are taken from the previous year's UGC NET environmental science paper. So these are important and kindly note down question along with the solution. So here this question is telling there are total 50 fish in a pond and there out of them 12 had no parasite on them. So 50 minus 12 will be how much it will be 38 remaining. So 38 they are not telling that they are not having parasite and it is telling that the remaining that means the 38 because 12 have no parasite on them so the remaining having the varied numbers of parasite on them that means it is telling the varied number means minimum at least it, they will be having one parasite on them so this is asking again then how many fish had at least one parasite so varied number means it can be from one to many so minimum they will be having one that is at least they will be having one parasite so here how many fishes will be there there will be 38 in number because 50 out of 50 fish 12 had no parasite on them so 38 are having varied number that means they are having at least one parasite on them so option number c will be the correct option so this is the very simple questions this can be done by the school students they are chocolate questions if you know the concept clear and read the question properly you will be able to do this let's move to the second question so the second question is from the theoretical part the conceptual part the question is for a positively skewed distribution what is the relation between the mean median and mode so it's time for you people to guess about the answer then i will reveal the correct option so here the correct option will be option number a yes in the positively skewed distribution the mean is having the greatest value followed by the median then followed by the mode so this concept is very repeated in the examination for UGC net environmental science and we should know about this concept in this slide so here we will know what is the meaning of symmetrical and asymmetrical or skewed distribution so if you are going for any statistical analysis we will be going for the distribution table and we have to make this kind of graph so here what is mean by symmetrical distribution so distribution is said to be symmetrical when the values of the mean the median and the mode are equal that means there is the equal number of values on both sides of the mean which means the values occur at regular frequencies so this is telling in this graph you can see here this is telling about the symmetrical distribution and this one single dotted line shows that mean median and mode for this distribution are same and they are telling that there is equal number of values on both the sides so in both the sides there are equal values and that means the values occur at regular frequencies so it will be bell shaped you can see the bell shaped size and now we will know about what is the meaning of the asymmetrical kind of distribution so asymmetrical kind of distribution is also known as skewed distribution so you should not get confused so when the values of mean the median and the mode for a distribution are not equal then it is said to be the asymmetrical or skewed distribution and these are also having two kinds of one is positively skewed and the other is negatively skewed distribution that means where mean median mode are not equal they are also having two types that is positive and negative so what is the difference the difference is in case of positively skewed distribution the mean is in the right hand side of the median and mode and in case of the negatively skewed distribution the mean is on the left hand side of the median and mode and here we should analyze these two graphs that first of all let us go for the positively skewed distribution here you can see that here the mean is greater than the median and the median is greater than the mode that means mode is the lesser one that is the least one why but you will say that here the most part is in the mode part but after that it is decreasing and mean is having the less 
but it is not the case the case is you should look into the x axis so here in x axis the values which are more farther from the zero point they will be having more value so here the mean is more farthest from the zero point that's why mean will be having the most value followed by the median than the mode because mode is more closer to the zero point of this x axis similarly when we are coming to the negatively skewed distribution let us see in this graph which is right in the on the right hand side of this video so here in the right hand side we will know that here the mode is having the maximum value followed by the median then by the mean because mean is closer to the zero point then followed by median then mode is farthest that means it is having the maximum value so in this way they can also ask question and they have been also asked that by the help of the graph you should tell whether it is positively skewed whether it is negatively skewed or it is a symmetrical distribution so i hope you are able to clear this doubt let's move to the next question the next question is coming up from the parametric and non-parametric kind of question the question is which of the following is not a non-parametric test in statistics so time for you to think about the answer i think it's a tricky one so let me reveal the answer and here the question is actually asking not a non-parametric test. So not not means it is asking which is a parametric test. So here we have to find the parametric test in statistics. So chi-square is a non-parametric test. Sign test is also a kind of non-parametric test. And here also U test is also a kind of non-parametric test. So the Z test is the only test in these four options which is a parametric test that is a not a non-parametric test. And you should know also what are these U test. U test is actually a test which is also known as Man Whitney U test. So you should not get confused. Man Whitney Wilcoxon U test or Man Whitney U test is also called as U test, which is a non parametric test. So let's move on to the fourth question. The fourth question is What is the criterion to qualify sample as random sample? So read every option carefully. So, which sample ko hum random sample kahenge? So it's very easy and one of the frequent last question I guess everyone will be able to answer so here option number B will be correct yes because in a population if the member every member is having the equal chance of being chosen that is the equal probability of every member then it will be called as the random sampling it is not biased and it is a kind of random sampling technique let's move to the fifth question the fifth question is the match the following in which in the list one the goals are given and list two the statistical tests are given so here I will tell you which one will match with which one so starting with the a1 in the list one that is the to quantify association between two variables with normal distribution which statistical test is used and the option will be option number two Pearson correlation test is used coming to the second thing that is b to compare two unpaired groups under non-normal distribution which test is preferred so man Whitney test which we have learned that is u test similarly C will be to compare three or more unmatched groups in a binomial distribution. Which test is used? The test which is used is the chi-square test. And finally, to describe a group of data under normal distribution, mean and standard deviation are used in the statistical analysis. So these are also important. Kindly make this table and write down all the statistical tests along with their goals. Let's move to the next question. The next question is coming up. Which of the following experimental designs will necessitate the use of a two-way analysis of variance that is ANOVA and you have to tell me which is the correct option. So here the correct option will be option number B, RBD that is randomized block design experimental designs has the necessity to use the two-way analysis of ANOVA and for the many of you this RBD will be the first time you will be hearing this term so I will tell you in the next slide that what is this randomized block design. So the randomized block design in this case the experimenter that means who does the experiment divides the subjects into subgroups which are called as blocks and I will tell you with the help of example let us consider golfers that means those who play golf so they can be men and they can be women so they are subdivided into different subgroups that is called as blocks so you can see they are placed under the blocks such that the variability within the blocks 
is less than the variability between the blocks so this thing you should remember this is telling the variability within the blocks is less than the variability between the blocks that means it is telling where if we are subgrouping the women also there the variation will be less but if you are considering this block along with this block of the men then the variability will be more because they are men and these are women but if you are considering among the women then within the blocks there will be less variation and between the blocks it will be more variation that's why these blocks are separated and divided into subgroups next thing is then the subjects within the each block are randomly assigned to treatment condition then what happens is after that each blocks are randomly assigned so what is our purpose what is our goal accordingly we have to give the treatment condition here it is comparing the driving distances so similarly we can give according to our own wish so let's move to the next question the next question is from the error the question is the qualitatively a sampling error in a survey based on the environmental experiment is the sum of what kind of error so here the correct option will be option number a yes in a qualitatively sampling error is known as in case of the environmental experiment survey is the sum of frame error response error plus the chance error that is frc combination of error let's move to the next question and the next question is the important characteristic of a chi test that is the chi square test are what so you have to tell me what is the characteristic of the chi square test so here the correct option will be option number d all of the above are the characteristics of the chi square test that means it is a non parametric test it is based on the frequencies but it is not useful for the estimation and to test the hypothesis and it can be applied to a complex contingency table so these three are the important features or characteristics of a chi square test so these were some of the questions theories and numericals which we did today and if you want to know more about the basics of the statistics and the frequently asked questions in the entrance examination you can check the playlist which is like mini marathon i will provide in the i button as well as in the description below so if you like this don't forget to like this video share it with your friends subscribe the channel to get all further updates so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling